بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سال اور خان یوٹیوب چینل وے ٹو ڈے نو نیو ٹاپک جسٹ اے کنٹینیوشن فرام دا پریویس ناٹ اے کنٹینیوشن بیسیکلی اے ریویژن اینڈ وائی از دیٹ سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ڈسکس دی کامن ایمیٹر کنفیگریشن رائٹ سو ویو ڈسکس دا ہول تھنگ بٹ سم پوائنٹس ور دیئر وچ آئی وینٹ تھرو ویری فاسٹ آئی شوڈ ناٹ ہیو گان ان دیٹ اسپیڈ اینڈ دا پرابلم واز دیٹ آئی ہیڈ ٹو گو سم ویئر اینڈ آئی واز آلسو رننگ آؤٹ آف چارج اینڈ اسپیس آن مائی کیمرا سو آئی جسٹ ٹرائی ٹو وائن اٹ اپ اینڈ ایم سوری آئی شوڈ ناٹ ہیو وائن اٹ اپ ان اے سنگل ویڈیو The points, the basic thing you've understood, you know, the emitter is common. The one is forward bias, the other is reverse bias, whatever the thing is, the basic configuration you are clear with. But the, some three points that needed a little bit of detailed explanation, which I could not provide in the previous video, due to hurry, of course. And uh, so today, let's say we revise those things, right? So the first thing, the first point that I've written over here and I, I told you over there, that the barrier potential of the emitter based junction would be greater than the barrier potential or the built in potential for the collector based junction so i provided my reasoning over there this is because of the doping level right if you say the barrier potential or the built in potential or the knee voltage or whatever it is let me write built in potential over here so this barrier potential vb is given by k T upon E, you know everything, we've, we've already discussed this, ln of N A N D divided by N I whole squared. So have a look, this is directly proportional to the product of the concentration, the doping concentration. The more the doping, the more is the barrier potential. The less the doping, the less is the barrier potential. Considering an NPN transistor for, for, for let's say, so this was an N plus region, this was a highly doped region and then this is a P region and let's say this is an N region or you could say N minus with respect to this, right? So this one is your, this is your emitter, this is your base, this is your collector. So this one is your emitter base junction and this one is your collector base junction. So have a look, the doping of the emitter base side is greater due to the N plus, right? The P, the P is a thinner region and it also has less region. So you could say the concentration could be a little more or not, but the emitter side is of course at a higher one. So the doping, at the emitter base is greater than the doping at the collector base yes yes and we know from this value that the that the built-in potential vb is directly proportional to the doping concentration that is the na and the nd so the emitter base junction will have a greater barrier potential as compared to this so for instance for instance let's say i take the values of 0.7 for silicon vb for the emitter base is let's say 0.7 let's say 0.7 which is greater than the barrier potential for the collector base junction which let's say for simplicity i am taking as a 0.5 this is not the case we don't have this much of a difference right this is not proper values i'm just taking it for simplicity just to let you know that this would be greater than this right yes so what do you have you have this is your base this is your collector and this is your emitter so the base to emitter is plus minus 0.7 volts and the base to collector is a plus minus 0.5 volts yes yes so which means that if i consider this base to be grounded if i consider this base to be grounded so this collector is at a negative 0.5 volt potential and if i consider this uh, emitter voltage with respect to the base so this is a negative 0.7 volts right and now if i consider the collector to emitter voltage vce so that would be a negative 0.5 minus a negative 0.7 this would give me a 0.2 volts vce comes out to be 0.2 volts so that is what i wrote over there in the in the uh, in the characteristics curve this was vce this was ic i believe right the output characteristics of the input so we talked about this 
have a look so this sort of a curve it was so this value this was a 0.2 volts after which after which the 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 the, the configuration was going into the active mode and before that this mode the left hand side in the entire left region this was the saturation mode right so this is what we talked about this is point number one now point number two the saturation current is less than the active current you can clearly see from the uh, from the what from the graph as well right so the saturation current is less than the uh, the active current why is that why is that so let's say uh, we see it so considering again say the npn transistor so if you have the npn transistor this is n plus this would be a p and this would be an n again so in the inside you have electrons right you have electrons as majority carriers you have holes over here right so what do you have the emitter base junction is has to be forward biased the emitter base junction has to be forward biased yes and the collector base is reverse biased so if this is forward biased and this one is reverse biased so this would be the case right yes so have a look what would happen in n side what do you have is you have a positive ions over here and you in the p side you have a negative ions over here yes so what will happen is in the active mode of operation in the active mode of operation this is already forward biased which means that this electron this electron will move towards the base region this electron would move in this direction from the emitter region towards the base region yes yes and have a look this diode is reverse biased so the, the an electric field would be established over here an electric field would be established over here which would be from the n to p side right in the electric field direction we take on the basis of a unit positive test charge so which means that this would be repelling positive charge in this direction which means it would be attracting electron in the opposite direction yes yes so in this mode in the active mode the reverse bias potential or the electric field is helping the flow of electron the flow of electron from where from the emitter towards the collector region have a look the electron is already moving in that direction and further this electric field is helping it move so it is it is further enhancing the flow of electron right so this is the ic uh, uh, the, co the collector current in the uh, in the active mode right this is the collector current in the active mode so let's say the blue color okay the blue color is ic active now let's say i take the green color say i take the green color for what for the saturation mode in saturation mode what would happen so in saturation mode both of them are forward biased so if both of them are forward biased now what will happen so let me just change these polarities this one is forward biased again so in the saturation mode what will happen now have a look the direction of the battery has reversed which means this electric field has to be in the opposite direction this electric field this would now be in this direction from the plus sign of the battery have a look depending on the unit test po unit positive test charge yes yes this electron from the emitter region is going in the same way but now it has to face an opposition if the electric field is in that direction which means it is pushing positive charge in their direction so electrons it has to repel in the opposite direction yes electric field is on the basis of positive charge so in the saturation mode the electric field e established due to this polarity is opposing the flow of electrons opposing the flow of electrons from the emitter to collector region 
and this I call as I see the saturation current and you could see if in that case it was helping so it was enhancing the flow of electrons it was uh, you know uh, making more and more electrons flow it was attracting it in this case it is repelling it it is opposing the further flow of electrons so the current level of course has to be reduced and the, this point is proved that the saturation character current is less than the active collector current and this is the case have a look this is the active collector current and this one is the saturation collector current right so point number two we are done now point number three the collector emitter has the saturation mode yes the common the common collector common emitter has the uh, this one uh, the common emitter has the saturation mode the common base do not have the saturation mode yes yes point number three point number three so point number three is what that the the leakage current this is the leakage current right which is the reverse current due to the minority charge carriers so this is greater in case of the common emitter configuration than that of the common base why is that so let's see so we talked about let me just check the formulas ic is equal to beta times ib ic is equal to beta times ib plus beta plus 1 times ICBO which this term we named as ICEO so beta times IB plus ICEO where this CEO is what uh, the, the reverse leakage current which means what that if IB is equal to 0 if IB is equal to 0 means what that the base is open circuited so the base is open circuited this potential has to be removed so if the base is open circuited this would imply that the collector current would only be the collector leakage current CEO C for collector O for open circuit E for the common emitter configuration so IC is equal to ICEO now how do we study this so let's say I take a PNP transistor now. So if I take a PNP transistor, this is a P plus, this would be N, this would be P again. So you have to open circuit the base. The base has been open circuited. Whereas the collector, the emitter to collector voltage is already there. Yes, this voltage is already there, the plus to minus. Have a look collector plus emitter minus we know it from this configuration this potential has been removed so have a look we have the minority charge carriers we'll talk about the uh, minority charge carrier right so the holes will flow from n to p side the holes are the minority in n case the electrons are in the p case so the holes will move from what from n to p and the electrons would move from p to n this we are talking about the minority charge carriers why we because we are talking about a reverse biasing potential right yes so have a look this electron would move from the p to n side so the electron is moving upwards so if the electrons are moving upwards depending on this negative polarity so electrons are going upwards so which means that the hole has to come downwards this hole would come downwards yes depending on this polarity again the plus would push the hole downward the this minus would push the electron upwards yes yes so have a look have a look can you not see that this is not only about this collector base junction this is not only about this collector base junction this also has became about the emitter base junction why because the emitter has got a supply over here yes yes so have a look the emitter has supply and the emitter has supply in the form of a plus charge and the plus charge means it would further uh, repel the hole downwards which means it would supply more holes it would supply more holes yes yes so that is why more leakage current would flow in this case this is what this is i c e o fine yes this is because the emitter has got a supply right in the common base configuration in the common base configuration what did we have let's say we talk about a p and p again so let's say this was your p this was your n this was your p so in that case the common the icbo 
So what was the case? In that case, the emitter was open circuited. In this case, you have the emitter to be open circuited. And this collector base junction is forward bias, right? Reverse bias, sorry. So this plus this minus. Have a look. Have a look. This was reverse biased. So this is a reverse biasing potential again. So the N side has got holes, the P side has got electrons. So have a look, the holes would come downward, the electrons would go upward in the same way, but this would only be limited to a single one, a single PN junction. This is only limited to a single PN junction. This ICPO is limited only to single PN junction. Whereas in this case, in this case, the, elect, elect, the emitter has got the supply which was forward biasing this junction as well. This was forward biasing the emitter base junction. And how do we see the forward bias? Because the holes were moving from P to N, electrons were moving from N to P. So forward bias was acting as a forward bias. Over here, only one junction, the emitter has got no supply. So no additional, uh, no additional supply of the charge carrier is present. So that is why the ICEO, ICEO is greater than ICBO. IC for the collector current, O for open circuited. In this case, O for the open circuited emitter. In that case, O for the open circuited base. E is for the common emitter configuration. B is for the common base configuration. I hope it is clear. I hope we are done in this video. So have a look, we've got a bit of time. I believe we would have taken 20 minutes. So this was not something to be uh, dealt in the previous video. In the previous video, the whole thing we covered in 20 minutes. So I'm sorry for that video. And I hope you have understood the points over here. That is it for this video. See you in the next lecture with the last configuration. That is the common collector configuration. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.